one of, if not the most common question I get asked is, what happens to my recycling once they take it away? Once picked up by a hauling company, recycling is taken to a material recovery facility. One of the places Republic Services brings its recycling is Greenworks in Peabody, where it falls under the watchful eye of Caitlin Smith, Recycling and Organics Coordinator. They drop it off onto the floor. A front loader scoops it up and he actually dumps it into a big bin. This bin has a drum feeder on the bottom and it actually levels out all of the material so that it goes onto the conveyor belt for our first set of defense to kind of pick through. They're trying to take out anything that is going to break our machine, like plastic bags. Number one thing, we say it and shout it to the rooftops, people still put them into the recycling. So plastic bags are number one, any type of rope, Christmas lights, no plastic wrapping, no food, no dirty food, and no tanglers that are going to get wrapped up. Metal, pots and pans, none of that is actually recyclable in your recycling bin. It has to be taken a certain way. And the first section they're going to go to is our cardboard sorter. The cardboard is sorted out by size. All the other material is going to fall down through this screen. So those are all of your little pieces of glass, the tags on your shirts, the little credit card you know, receipts that you get that are small. We always say don't recycle anything smaller than a credit card. Bottle tops that you don't put back on your bottle. We've had four to six guys go through it. It goes through this machine with all of those runners and spikes and then it's going to go past another conveyor belt full of four to six people again who are going to pick out any more tanglers that they can find before going into that second star screen. We're going to have that second star screen. It's going to take out all of the paper. So all of your mixed paper, the smaller you know, sheets, that's going to be all taken out. So we have the cardboard, glass and paper all taken out. Now we just need our metals and our plastics. And that's when we go to this other side of the machinery. The two gentlemen that are standing there are again, more quality control guys. So for the number ones, your PET, he is taking out anything that may have flown along with those water bottles, paper, tags, any type of film, plastic bags that happen to have still made it through. And then the second one for the number twos, if you watch him, he's actually sorting not only the you know trash stuff, but he is sorting all of the non-colored material the water jugs really, the water gallon jugs. If there's a milk gallon jug that's clear, not the white ones. If you want something that's clear or white, you don't want a red tide bottle in with that mixture. It's another commodity, it's another way that we can actually use that number two, the HDPE, because it's really good material. And those are our optic sorters. It's really cool, there's a laser eye that actually reads all of the material that's going through this conveyor belt. So when it's reading it, it actually talks to the green box. Once everything's sorted and when we are ready to bale something, it's then going to be compacted down into that nice little square wrapped up with some wire and it gets you know, wired up. And at the very, very back of the building, that's the end product. So we'll sort them in the very, very back. We have a forklift that will then you know, move them to where you know, each material is. And then once it's ready to be shipped off in those 18 wheelers, that's where they're gonna load them up. This right here for the end result with the bales, each bale is about 2,000 pounds. It's one ton, roughly. This is Christina, she's our lovely scale attendant. <laughs> she makes sure everybody's on, on par. She has to document what is being taken and then she watches it being locked she has to actually put the seal on. So the lock gets pictured. The bales are sent to markets that buy the recycled material and use it to make new products. Recycling is extremely important and following the guidelines for what can and cannot be recycled at home is a big part of this process to help reduce the impact of our waste on the environment. Making new items out of recycled material saves energy and fuel, which in turn saves natural resources. Making paper from paper saves the trees. Making new soda cans from old cans avoids strip mining mountaintops. By diverting materials from the waste stream and either recycling, upcycling, or reusing, we can make the world a greener, cleaner, healthier place.